Hi guys, Zero here. Welcome to your behind the scenes breakdown. In this week's video, we're given a sneak peek at the wide range of combat related updates coming down the pipe, some of which will arrive in just a few days. Next week's update involves several significant changes to combat. Dual wielding is being buffed to match two handed weapon damage. For mage dual wielding, we'll now be able to select different spells for different hands. Also, the critical cap is being removed, meaning ultimates will be much more rewarding. In the BTS video, we actually see a player hitting over 7k while fighting Krill to Saroth. Also, ranged and mage will see two new basic abilities added to their ability book. This should help to balance with melee, which has strength and attack, two ability books rather than just one. Finally, momentum is being changed to a toggle feature. So now you won't need to build up your adrenaline in order to turn on your momentum. Instead, you can just simply click the toggle and switch to the weaker auto attack feature. Curiously, we might find out that momentum is particularly weak in some situations. They recommend, for instance, not using it against bosses. Maybe a subtle hint. Hang on, though. That's not the only update which figures to arrive next week. A very cryptic event is being held on March 11th which I think will mark the monumental day that RuneScape officially moves from the 5th into the 6th age. The end of one age and the beginning of the next are always catalyzed by significant events. Historically, they've been marked by incredible discoveries, the rise and fall of empires, or world-shaking wars. Many were highlighted in the origins of Gilinor, and in last week's breakdown, we looked at these in more detail. So what then will be the history-defining moments that mark the end of the 5th age and the start of the 6th? Anyone interested to find out should definitely play The World Wakes, RuneScape's latest quest. The level requirement is only 140 combat, and the storyline may give you some hints. That's not all. In the BTS combat video, we learned that other changes are expected to arrive in the coming weeks. As early as next month, an armor system update could allow players to sacrifice defense and life points for a boost in offense. Also, your level of skill will have a more significant effect on your accuracy and damage. This means that things which modify your level, like potions and weaken effects, will play a greater role in combat. I'm actually really happy they've announced this change several weeks out. This will give players time to adjust, and the change will have a more gradual impact on the game economy. In a similar vein, it would be interesting if a player's god affiliation also influenced their performance in different areas. Only time will tell. Anyways, that's all for this week. Until next time, this has been your behind-the-scenes breakdown. Thanks very much for watching.